Israel. I'm Rick. I'm Laura. And in the background, as always, we have my lovely wife, G.S. Hello. And Laura's husband, K.S. Hola. Our tech guy, and video guy, sound Birthday guy. Birthday boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now I speak his English. <laughs> It's no hablé espanol. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it right. Yeah, no, no, don't speak any English. All right, all right. We'll skip over that. There you go. <laughs> so first, happy 4th of July to everybody. Happy 4th of July. You said first like you have an agenda today. Um, I got a couple of things. Ooh, okay. What you got? Well, that was the first thing, Independence happy 4th. Day. What about it? Thank our veterans and yes, thank you. for our independence. I wish we had a flag. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Insert flag here. Insert flag. <laughs> yeah, where were you on that? Did you see Zach ever? Wilde's uh, guitar playing thing that he posted yesterday for Independence Day? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I knew I should have sent it to you. It was on Instagram. You should check it out. It's pretty good. Yeah, Rick's not on Instagram. Yeah, I'm not on Oh, that's right. It's you are, though, via IEG, which hasn't been updated in a while. Okay. Sorry. Yay. What else you got? Um, well, first, not too long ago, oh. like every IEG that we do, there oh. was another death. No. <laughs> another death? Who? Oh. Um, not in the music world, though, in the acting world. Um, Donald Sutherland, mm. the guy that plays oh, yeah. uh, Keith or Sutherland's father. Uh, he played in uh, Hunger Games, yep. the president. President Snow. President no, Snow. Yeah. Yeah. how do I miss yeah. this? These things. I don't go on. He was a good actor. I don't too. go on social media a lot. Yeah, he does. What else was he in? He was in. Hold on, help me out. No. There was something else. I don't know. Something All big. kinds of movies. It wasn't well, he movie. was he was an actor for quite a while. Yeah. Are you searching? Well, I don't, I don't have the internet. So he passed away uh, in June. I think June twentieth or something like that. Cheers, Donald. Yes, cheers, to <coughs> Donald. And I don't know if anybody knows this, but Kiefer and his father were very much estranged for a very long period of time until Kiefer became an adult. Why? And then they reconnected and then had this wonderful relationship. Why were they estranged, do we know? At that part, I'm not really mm. clear on, yeah. but... A lot of times when they're younger, they, they're able to keep it under wraps, the details. Speaking of estranged kids and their fathers, did you know that Miley Cyrus doesn't talk to Billy Ray Cyrus at all anymore? Oh, shit, really? Why? Yeah. Was it because he cut his mullet off? <laughs> Did he? I don't know. Wait, he hasn't had a mullet for a while. I know, that's what I'm saying. Really? Maybe no. Maybe they haven't had a relationship for a while. Well, no, it was, I think something... He was married to Miley's mom for 30 years. I think her name was Tina. You might... Oh, well, we have no internet. But something happened. Just differences that cannot be reconciled. But he's gone through another divorce now. From some 30-year-old... Something rose... You know that it'll come back to me later. Interesting. I pegged you for a big Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray. <laughs> um, I mean, no. <laughs> I, I mean, it, you know, his like hit song. Which he one? He only had one. He had a couple. Didn't no, he? he only had one. <laughs> and I don't even know what it was called. <laughs> Achy Breaky Heart. Yeah. Achy Breaky Heart. Don't break my heart. No. My achy, breaky heart. I can totally see him jamming out there. Don't pretend like you don't. Gee, yes, I'll sing it for you. (laughs) (laughs) But I was always under the assumption that he really helped Miley get her career started. Well, I thought that was uh, Disney. Well, he helped her get into the Disney. Disney. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, Hannah Montana. Well, maybe they don't talk because he cut off all his mullet. His it's hair. possible. I mean, all his it's power. Like Samson. All his par- Samson. power was in his hair, his mullet. I don't get yep. the Samson reference. Typical. Oh, oh, that's why I don't get it. <laughs> that's why. <fine. laughs> Could be a little. What else? Um, we've also, and I know we've talked about similar things in the past where. Um, like music catalogs get sold or who owns catalogs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and just recently Queen sold their music catalog for mm-hmm. 
one point two billion dollars or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <coughs> Two. So that was who recent. Hmm? You know who bought it? I can't hear a word you're saying. Who bought it? <laughs> I was trying to take a sip of my drink, but I was looking at him. Okay, the alcohol is more important. You're right. Um, (laughs) It it was anxiety to go away, right? Yeah. It wasn't a person that bought it, but I think Mm -hmm. it was a company that bought it. Yeah, it was one of the entertainment companies. It's probably Sony. They buy everything. And put it in that secret bunker that they (laughs) have. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, it was Sony Music. It was? And they bought it for more than $1 billion. Yeah. Definitely in that secret. It's definitely in that secret bunker. Oh, yeah. I think it was like one point two What's wrong with your face? billion or something. Nothing. Was it the money? The amount of money? Yeah. It's pretty. It was pretty big. That's a, that's a lot of money. And Miley Cyrus you went is white for a second. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no no. My Miley Cyrus's mom's name was is Trish. Ah, oh, see, I had the T right. Oh, close. You said <laughs> Tina. That was pretty close. That's pretty good. Now they I were married never... for like thirty years. Could you look up for me the the name of the the. 30-year-old he's divorced and it's something Rose. Fire what Rose? What is his first name? Billy Ray Cyrus? Billy. Is it Fire Rose? Or is Fire Rose Anthony Kiedis' girlfriend? That sounds like Anthony Kiedis. And and, how old is she? Oh, God. <laughs> how oh old God. is she? Listen. <clears throat> what, 16? Hold on. 16, 17? How old is he? He's like 16. Oh, he's like 60 yeah. or yeah. yeah. And hold on, I do have this in my notes because they, I, I, Ooh, she's beautiful, first of all. This is interesting. It says, Cyrus filed for divorce on May 23rd after seven months of marriage. He alleged in a recent court filing that his estranged wife, Fire Rose, was Fire. verbally, emotionally, and physically abusive. Hmm. Hmm. And it was witnessed by his manager. She's like, wow. so she was 30, right? And Billy Ray Cyrus has to be how old? I mean, that's not that bad. But Anthony Kiedis is like 60. His girlfriend is 19. I was only a couple years old. Which, I mean, well, let's Billy be real. Billy Ray Cyrus it's, has to be close to 60 it's also. Not, He's older than I me. think we've kind of hit this before. It's not out of the norm in the music industry to have these guests. He's 62. See? Yeah. Gross. Cradle robber. Gross. Right out of diapers. Not really. But I mean, you know what's it, creepy is that she looks... So much like Miley Cyrus. Really? Oh my god. That's weird. It's actually creepy. That's the ex-wife now? The rose lady? The new ex-wife, yeah. The they new call ex-wife. It, what's the Look electric it. complex? Don't you agree? Oh, wow, yeah. See? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that gross? Wow, Freud would have a field day with <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to flash some pictures on the screen. Yeah. You know, I <laughs> said to him on the way in, we have to figure out a way that... And now it would take some planning. I know how you feel about that. But when we talk about these people, if we could have like a picture pop up on the TV, almost like if there's a computer attached and a PowerPoint. You don't something. have to whisper. Well, then you have to pre-plan <laughs> what you're talking about. Right? Well, that's why I said I know it's a sensitive subject to pre-plan. But yeah. you had an agenda today. I like this. I had a few things. That was I it. Like, well, it was Two good. Things. What else you got? That's it. Oh. <laughs> you do oh, good. good. I'm glad you didn't mentioned my blunder this week. Oh, well, let's talk about it now. Nah. Well, you brought it up. What happened? What did What'd you do? I almost got attacked by a black lab on the oh, yeah. nature trail. Yes, what is going on with dogs oh. being attacked? I want to hear your story, and then I have another story that I heard this week, too, that's crazy. <laughs> so I was, I was on my way back from my workout. I was, like, ending my workout, right. and this woman was had her black lab bigger than Cooper, and I said hi to her. And as soon as I said hi to her, this dog lunged mm. at me. And I screamed like a little girl. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. And <clears throat> I think me screaming helped to deter him. But I had like a wet mark right on my arm from his nose. You're like, so lucky. Yeah. yeah. And I like jumped out of the way. It was insane. It was the scariest thing that I've ever encountered. I oh, literally I thought it. that I was going to be attacked by this dog. I wow. say you're lucky. So my mom told me that her cousin Mary, similar situation, walking around town, walks the same path pretty often, says, you know, hi, but knows this dog is a barker. Well, when she was walking by the fence, a little a teenager was walking by with a puppy, and Mary bent down to pet the puppy, and mm. the dog jumped the fence. <gasps> 
got her arm bitter. Wow. The next day she woke up, it was pretty swollen, so she went to her doctor because she wanted to get it checked. The dog went down to the bone. Oh, God. Like, wow. that's crazy. And then there was somebody that we worked with serious. where their kid was recently mauled by a dog. It's like Zoo, Stephen Tyler. Or Stephen Tyler. Stephen King's Zoo. You know that one? No. Really? They we don't made watch a TV movies. show off of it. It's not yeah, a, we don't watch it's a book. Yeah. And then they made a, it's so good. You would, stuff. If you ask Christine, she would know. Yeah, my sister knows all that stuff. We should call her. I like my sister. She's nice. Just to ask her if she knows it. <laughs> so, to back to GS's story. Um, crazy, though. Two things. One, I am was shocked that <laughs> my wife did not yell at this woman for not controlling her dog, which is very out of character. I said I was in life. a state of shock. She may have been in a state of shock, so there's that time, may have... There's still time for this to happen. Um, so that's the first thing, that she didn't yell at this lady for not controlling her dog. And two, I told her that she should be taking our dog with her so that she doesn't have these problems. Oh, yeah. That black lab would have watch, not gone anywhere near you with Coop. Yeah. With Cooper, on Cooper's watch, things like that don't happen. Yeah. And see, if I did have Cooper with me, and that still did happen, then I would have lost my shit. Yeah. <laughs> because I know no other dog is attacking my dog. His new collar is cute. <laughs> he looks tough. I mean, it he also, is tough. It glows in the dark. <gasps> yeah, I was just going to say, it also glows in the dark. <laughs> so, we came home yesterday. The fireworks must have been really bad. Because we came home yesterday, and Walter had chewed his collar. I don't even know how the hell he got it off. Yeah. Wow. And chewed it apart, and we've never experienced that before Aww. and then somebody else that lives down on our street their dog got out at like 2 in the morning we've been looking for it ever since I don't hear them well when with dogs and fireworks the one thing you have to remember is try not to coddle your dog yeah <laughs> shit <laughs> That's uh, the, the best she does is cuddle the dog no, you're supposed to ignore them the, yeah. the best thing to do is one, ignore them, and two, find something that takes their mind off. His of pickle. Oh my god, he loves his pickle. It's a toy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I it's assumed a toy. it was a toy. He's a bit aggressive. <laughs> oh my god, he <laughs> loves his pickle. Well, every time I say it, my teenager loses it laughing. I'm like, Walter, get your pickle! <laughs> I mean, it is pretty funny. It is not. He's a banana, um, too. It's half peeled. <laughs> <laughs> so if you find something to distract the dog, so like Cooper he will bark like when like last night like I was downstairs with him and for the most part he slept through the whole thing the only time he barked was when there was really loud ones yeah kind of like thumped inside the house then he'll bark but it, then he doesn't other than that he doesn't care we medicated Walter when we got home he's He's much better for that. Now, the <laughs> the dog that we saw at the party... Gave him NyQuil. No, we did not. <laughs> no, we didn't. It's stuff that's approved from the vet. Don't Drug listen to it. Drug the dog up. We sometimes Fireworks? What fireworks? <laughs> Yo, so well, I will say it calms him down, but the dog that we saw at the, the party that we were at, he is adorable. I love him. His name is Dexter. And he's a mutt, but he looks kind of like a wolf. He's so cool looking. But he was, they, he's like high, high anxiety, and they do have to drug him. And he just looked stoned and happy out of his mind. <laughs> he's sitting there like, yeah, that's all right. that guy? like the whole time. <laughs> it was, it was a good time. I love the dog. Yeah. Shout out to Dexter. Well, dogs that are afraid of fireworks don't coddle them. So what I did was absolutely wrong one. Yes. Is <laughs> <laughs> wrong? It did. Did you see that Nicole's? Uh, dog was hiding behind Aunt Marilyn's dresser. Aww. No, I didn't. What see kind that. of yeah. dog? A little one, obviously. No, he's not. He's, he's really tall and skinny. Did he move? I don't know what I kind of what dog his he breed is. is. Like but a he's a very pack? sensitive soul. Yeah. But even that, like, if the dog chooses to hide somewhere, then you just let it go and let him hide. Yeah, yeah I can't do that. Why? I don't know. I gotta sue them. I gotta make it better. No, you. We well, snuggled. You're making it worse. Here's what happened. <laughs> it's gonna get worse yeah. too. We snuggled for a while until oh a really God. loud one went off, and then he tried to get to Kevin, couldn't get to him, so he laid in between the rooms right. that we were in. And then I fell asleep. I have no idea what happened. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, just gotta let them find their own. Distract them and let them find their own comfort spot. Kind of like the way you deal with me. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> it is exactly so what a husband should do with a woman. Put it in a Netflix wife. marathon. Go have fun. <laughs> She's looking right at him, so this must give, be true. Give some space. As long as you have a lock and a key. <laughs> Thanks. Here's some food and Netflix. You'll be have okay. fun. Stop. <laughs> you have nice. to take something that was so sweet and turn it to that was a funny. lock and a key. That was funny. Though. Yeah. Like, I thought it was funny. I mean, it's not like Misery where somebody's chained up onto a bed. I do like that movie. I mean, that's psychotic. That's Hitting a good your movie. Feet with the yeah, so you can't jammer. leave. <laughs> Well, that's a Stephen King uh, movie. You almost have that. Um, that life. movie I have seen. I don't think G.S. has seen that. That's right? a good one. Oh, so good. It's with uh, Kathy Bates. Yep. She plays... She plays a oh, it's a good whack yeah. job. Did she die? No. Recently? Oh, yeah. It was, no, I was just going to say, I think she, yeah, she, yeah, she recently passed away. Yeah, no. she did. Yeah. It could have been... G.S. is looking it up. Un right momento, por favor. She, she did that Bates. show... What was that show? Hi, that... That one on Netflix where she owned the uh, oh the dispensary the dispensary yeah, it was such a horrible show it was so bad but it was, <laughs> it was so, so funny like the humor was so bad it's so good I've seen that. no, no. You, you wouldn't enjoy it apparently she's still all. alive is she oh, I is didn't she? think she died she's oh, seventy six oh. see I thought I saw that she maybe I maybe I had a premonition <gasps> no I thought I saw oh, that now too, I know so who you're talking about be, <gasps> uh, she played such a good mom on Waterboy. Right? Right? I love that movie. Alright, well, if she didn't die, then that must have been fake news on the internet. Mm -hmm. It's possible that that somebody, it might have been fake. Because I swore I saw that too. Joey um, was having a bad day at school the one time. And do you remember the scene where he's taking the test and that crazy girl's standing out there and saying, Do you want me to kill them? (laughs) Or something like that. I sent that picture to him. (laughs) Do you know she has, she's a singer, that actress. Oh, is she? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. I just recently found that out. Nice. Interesting. Well, a little bit of an indie feel. It is interesting. Pretty good. Um, so you texted me a few days ago some homework to do. And oh, I did it. shit. So I, I listened to the Ooh. Blind Melon song that you wanted me to listen to. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Which is called... What was it called? Obviously, I don't remember. <laughs> No, oh, I thought this was like one of your favorite songs. You don't even know what it's called? No, it was m- when I heard Changes. the song. No, I do love that song, though. I don't know what it was. No, it wasn't one of my normal. But when I heard the song, I thought, if I'm ever going to get Rick to listen to Blind Melon in a deeper well, context, mean, it's going to be through this song. I've heard the other Blind Melon songs, and that one was really good. And it was a little different. Do you remember the name of it? Strike Back or something? Strike Back. That's, Is that it? That's strike it. Back? There you mm-hmm. go. Wow, it does work. <laughs> better than mine apparently um, that was a good song I like that song so you actually listened to it? I did I actually looked, listened to it this morning oh huh. nice they were it's like in between hair metal and grunge yeah, yeah. I've heard they other came songs out, have, like yeah. right before like Nirvana I think or right also that time. while I was listening Heroin to it really destroyed Shannon well, yeah, uh-huh. killed him. And well, no, I thought it was the cocaine that killed him. I thought it was. I the thought heroin. his heart exploded. I thought it was heroin. I, I could be wrong. Dude. I mean, you'll have to fact check that. While I was listening to that song on YouTube, you know how on the side it gives you like other suggestions. Suggestions. Or One of them was a documentary that said the something about the downfall of Blind Melon. Mm-hmm. So I didn't watch the documentary, but apparently there is a documentary about their I believe it. downfall. Yeah. I mean, it, he actually went and vid- he was videotaping his life, a lot of it, and they yeah. were able to create a doc. It's probably that. It's probably his video. I, I remember when it came out, it was a big thing. I remember watching part of it, but it... Well, I didn't have time to watch the documentary, but yeah. I did watch the... Or I did listen to the song. It was good. It was a good song. Yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it too. You should go further and. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, I appreciate you listening to it. Um, I was given a recommendation last night oh, on a recommendation. A, I, recommendation. I heard that too. Sorry. <laughs> what did, did you say? A I have to take a sip of my drink. I'm starting to get. <laughs> You're starting to get famished. <laughs> no man, I've been famished for hours. I can't wait to get home and eat this scrambled egg sandwich that I've been craving. For oh my, my goodness! God. 
I have to eat every couple hours. I'm pretty sure I have a tapeworm. I, I do have too. to look up the name because it is, in my opinion, slightly a ridiculous name. So who gave you this? At a party, I well when what I did go she say? when we recommendation. Recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> who gave you this recommendation you. to listen to this band? Um, a friend of ours. Okay. Um, so when we go places, I because we want content, I try to look for new music yeah. that I don't know about. Oh, yeah, that's good. And um, this is from somebody who likes a lot of different eclectic style music. So I thought, sure, I'll give it a try. Okay. Now. With that being said, what really drove me to this band was when he explained it, he said every album they do is different, like a different genre. One is like mm. bluegrass, mm. one is like metal, yeah. right? I cannot give you a full review yet because I've only listened to one album, which was like the bluegrass album. Um, all right, but the band name is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Oh, Lord. Right? I said it was kind of King Gizzard and ridiculous. Liz- what? King Lizard and <laughs> Wizard Gizzard. No. <laughs> King Gizzard and oh, the King Lizard King Wizard. King Gizzard. Yeah, say that ten Lizard. times. Yeah, so I will give you a full review after I've sampled some of the other albums. Well, what did you yeah. think of the one you listened I to? I will give you a full review after oh, I sampled some of the <laughs> other albums. And do we know anything about this band? Like... Where are they from? Australia? Is that what he had oh, said? I believe so. That's, I that's because you had drank so much whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's the well, reason I've, I've I don't want you before. sipping on that They're bottle. Very I've listened to them before. You didn't chime yeah. into the conversation last night. I uh, know, because that's... The, Cause, I, I think... I forget why. I think I was uh, drinking. <laughs> so every <laughs> album they put out is different? <laughs> it, from what, from what he had songs. said, um, every... They're very... Is that me? Are you trying to drop a hint? No, what? it was touching my face. <laughs> <laughs> These signals. Signs. Signs. That's a good movie, too. Gina's Gina's yawning. I am. Some of us had to work today. <gasps> oh, my God. You didn't have to I'm be so at work sorry. until 10. She didn't have to be at work until oh, 10. Shut up. She didn't leave until work. It sucks to work nine. the day after a holiday before a weekend. She'll be. And fine. let me tell you, the only reason besides his birthday weekend that I took off is because this one takes off the day before and after a holiday and thinks mm-hmm. nobody else notices. Mm-hmm. And I refuse to let him be the only person who gets <laughs> off like that. It's not a, it's, I'm not hiding it. That's what you're supposed to do. For the last 35 right years. <laughs> well, if I had had the time, which I actually did and didn't realize it, but I would have taken off today too because but now today's you a can Friday. Use that day for something else. Yeah, this one over here told me I needed to save my days, so whatever. Do you have something big planned? That was two days ago. Do you have something big planned? Do you take so her somewhere? So you couldn't have taken off. Where no. are you taking her? What was she doing her days for? Because she's always complaining she has no time to take off. <laughs> He's not wrong. No. So there's no, there was no reason to take off today. But going back to the original question, yeah, apparently every album they put out is different. They've done like an electronic That's album, it. metal album, bluegrass album. All right. I'll let I you mean, know how it goes. It sounds a little strange, but maybe they're good. Can't be any weirder than post. What was that band? Postal Service. Do you remember when I was listening to them? My early twenties. No, I don't know Postal Service. Never they were heard. each band member. Ooh. See? Nice. Sorry. Each band member was at a different location, and they would, like, one person would record their piece and then email it to, or email it to the next person, and then Hmm. they would dub over it and do their piece, and that's how they created their albums. Yeah. That's pretty good. Interesting. I won't give you that homework. You wouldn't like them. A band called... What did you say? Postal what? I think that's what they were called. <laughs> postal service. That doesn't sound like something I'm ever going to listen to. I can yeah, be you wouldn't. Enjoy weird. it. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's a little strange. You're super open to new um, music. I love it. I mean, it depends. <laughs> on, yeah. You're super open to change? Uh, definitely not open to change, but adding new music to my stuff that I listen to now I'm alright with that I don't think I but can offer you anything be. that you don't know about that you would like it's gotta be good it can't be you should do a goofy video stuff. shot of the CD wall mm-hmm. and then apparently the RIP CDs that are going back to the CD store hopefully this week someday it's probably not gonna happen this week 
Okay. Um, also in music news, Deep Purple's coming out with a new album. Smoke on. No. And they just released a new song. And oh, oh, sorry. What was it called? I have no clue. Um, actually, I do. I think it's called Lazy Sod. S O D. Son of a dick. What? Does, is that what it stands Sod. for? I don't know. Instead of son of a bitch. I don't know. A sod, I think, is like a person. Oh. Uh, in English terms, like that lazy sod. Who about. talks like that? And people from England. They're, they're English. <laughs> exactly. they're, they're British. We're talking about. Who still talks like that? But when, it comes, from, to, from when it comes to Deep Purple, I don't think there's anybody who's originally in that band that is originally on that band. Really? Yeah. Wait, so how do they... Well, Richie Blackmore's gone. He's doing a thing Wait. with his wife. Well, their lead the singer... Key, the, the keyboard player's dead. Yeah. The, uh, the bass crazy. player, I think, is still in Deep Purple. So... But isn't Ian Gillian? He's their He's singer? a singer, yeah. So has he He's been the singer original? the whole time? I don't know if he was the original singer. I thought they had a different yes, singer. Fact, but I, I forget, well, I forget his name. Other, GS has news. Before that. Yeah, I... Well, so the sod is British English uh, for... A very offensive word for someone, especially a man, who you think is stupid or annoying. Son of a dick! <laughs> <laughs> Love it! I'm gonna make this a yeah, thing. It's like, it's like, it's like the American version of son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Son. Yeah, there you go. Son of a right. dick. And what else Come am I Come on, you like it too. Uh, well, who, who, who uh, the uh, original who's lead singer of Deep, Deep Purple, Purple was? Yeah. So, How awesome was that definition? Come on, let's good. take a minute and recognize that. That Wait. was organically beautiful. You hit that right on the head. It doesn't happen no. often. Did I'm they? sorry, original singer of Smoke. Deep Purple. Now, by the time Smoke on the Water came out, I think that was Ian Gillen. Rod Evans. Yeah. Oh. So, the only original yeah. member of... Smoke there is no original Deep member of Deep Purple. Bass. I don't know the if there's player. any. Probably the bass player. You're right. You're right. The bass player. And what's his name again? Uh, I, I can't know. remember his name. I'll, I'll flash it up because I can find it out easily. Oh. Um, I don't so know does about he the own? Drummer. Does he own like the Deep Purple name then? I would, I assume, would so. assume so. I would assume so. Who but owns I don't the know. royalties to that? John Lord's gone. He's dead. Oh, that's the keyboard. Yeah. 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 That's um, Richie Blackmore is in a band with his wife. I think they got the guy from the Dixie Dregs playing um, guitar for them now. The Dixie... Dixie Dregs. Yeah. It's from the 70s or like a fusion I only know country the jazz Chicks. band from the Do you think the, the Dixie Chicks ripped off their name from that? I don't think they know who they were. They definitely know who they were. They're they both knew in who the, the country... Dixie Dregs were? Probably. They're both in the country genre. Not really. The Dixie Dregs are more of a, a, ja- a fusion band. Tag the Dixie band. Chicks. See if they can answer this question directly. <laughs> I need to know. Also, could the... you tell me where Earl's body is? Tag the Dixie Chicks. <laughs> So they're why not did, called the Dixie Chicks. They're just called the Chicks. The, yeah, I was just going to say true. that. Yeah, so why? why did they change their name to just the Chicks? I forget. Is it is it because... I don't know, but do we I really want to know? this in the podcast. Did we? Yeah. And we still... We couldn't figure it out then either. Oh. <laughs> did you know what else I recently learned? What's that? Apparently, if you go to buy The Notebook right now, like the movie, The Notebook... Yeah. The ending is completely different what? than what was released because it was branded... Too hard to handle. Too cold to hold. Oh, we'll call the Ghostbusters and we're in control. Okay, I'm not the only one that likes this. Is why we don't have <laughs> drink whiskey, but I like what it. What is the notebook? I don't understand. The, it's a movie. Oh. you never seen the notebook? Yeah. I don't even know what No, you is. haven't. I was say, you have no idea what she's talking about. I have it's no clue chick, what she's talking about. It's a chick about. flick, and it's a really good movie. Well, no, and no, you no. know what? It's been out for like at least 15 years, so if I oh, talk about the ending, time. I don't yeah. really care. At the very ending, it's incredibly heart-wrenching Sad. because, yeah, this the whole thing is this man, this old guy reading to this lady in a nursing home, but he's not really reading. He's telling her the whole life story until she remembers, and then she has Alzheimer's and she forgets again. It's all That's heart-wrenching because it's a very long, beautiful love story. Okay. And um, it's a tearjerker. Mm-hmm. Like a, a bad one, and apparently it was too hard to deal well, with. So they re it. Too hard for and, who to deal with? Just a cliffhanger. I was Ugh, told once so that you should never leave a movie with a sad ending, because people like to leave a movie with hope. It had a hope feel. Like it, you saw the movie. Oh, well, it was it's, a long time ago. Yeah, and I call bullshit on that because how they end the Titanic. 
Um, well, she did. The and female that survived. So there was so hope there. No, because... No, uh, the old lady died at the end well, when she was, she was done old. telling the story. Well, she was no, old. she doesn't. Oh, she doesn't? No, she oh, she doesn't die at the end. That's how I said it. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, she probably did eventually I die thought of old that's something about yeah, the necklace there. Down. It went back in the ocean or... What happened? No. I guess no, I saw you want to see it. Oh, my God. So you make up? She make games in yeah. to story. No, to you know what's really yeah. funny? My Which now nobody believes made. that this ending changed because they think that you probably made an ending up. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. The I end of Titanic, she takes she's on a ship, she takes the, the necklace, necklace. she throws no, water? she throws it into the water. So it does go back in the fucking ocean. I was right. The necklace, the necklace? Yes. Yes. That's Not what I said she died. Oh well yeah, I did think she died too. Are you sure? She doesn't die in the movie. You no. know what's really funny? I'm having an aha moment. Our oldest, it almost did not pass kindergarten because she would answer the reading stories, like when they would read the story and ask questions, right? She would answer, or maybe it was first grade. She would answer the questions with how she wanted the story to end. <laughs> not how it ended. Nice. Now I'm starting to see the correlation. So the, I am so sorry. The apple didn't fall far too far oh, from no, the tree on that one. No. She is there you go. a mini me. So you make up your own ending story. Apparently. All right. That's okay. I'm going to go with my brother with Tag and be like, yeah, 100%. I mean, that's all right, except I wouldn't tell people about it, but now. (laughs) Now it's all over. So there you go. Laura watches movies. It's out there in the interwebs. You know what happens is I probably fall asleep, especially with a long ass movie like Titanic. Titanic was super long. long. It was three hours. Yeah, not as long as like Lord of the Rings, though. Why does everybody say Lord of the... How long was... Because they keep walking. No, no, no. Sound of walking. It's not Sound of Music. Sound of Music was a long one, though, too. But what... The Wind. Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. Wasn't that one fucking long? Freaking long, too? I don't remember if that was too long. Sorry. I don't know if my parents are watching anymore. We're editing out the cursing? I don't know what happened. I can't edit out the cursing. Yeah, we're not doing that. (gasps) Yeah, fuck that. (laughs) That we're not editing out any cursing. I don't <laughs> know why what I is this fucking You're going to curse, room? you're going to curse. Uh, we were talking about shit. the kids. I do it naturally. Now it's awkward. Thanks for that weird sound. Uh, well, I was taking yeah. it. I'm sorry. Cool. Um, Thank God this one's almost gone. It was horrible. Truly, I do not sign off on your pr- fruit punch. I can't Fruit punch. Maybe I do sign off on your fruit punch. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh, God. Tastes like ass, but apparently gets you drunk, so. Yeah, well. You've only had one. Were okay. you drinking before this? No. no. I mean, lies you tell. Oh, lies I, I don't you know. Tell. I plead the fifth. Well, this is what we're going to need to do. I need, need another drink. And, and apparently you do, too. Because do I really? You need a well, different you one. You keep complaining. Yeah, get I something else, because apparently I that sucks. Jess and I recently went to a show. We went to see uh, <laughs> went to see Kevin Hart. Oh, we did. How was that? <laughs> Let's talk about the it cell phone was... thing first. What's that? The cell phone thing first. The cell phone thing first? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, while we were driving there, and I saw this on, the, you know, this was at Wind Creek, and I saw it on their website about no cell phones, oh. pictures, and video, and all yeah. this other stuff. As we're driving, Gina's looking this up and finds out that they actually lock up your cell phone. What? Like, take it? All right, to well, clarify, that's what we I were at thought... home when I figured it out, but go ahead. No, I think <laughs> we, we were in the car. We no, we talking. weren't. So I said, well, I can tell you Because right I even now. showed you a picture of what it looks like. Because I even, looks Yeah, like. we were in the car. Who packs things up now, bitch? So <laughs> I said to her, I'm like, there is no way. Like, I thought, like, I'm thinking, like, there's, like, a... A bin that you throw your phone in and then try and find it later. And yeah, that does not be... sound like fun. And I'm thinking, there's no way in hell I'm doing that. So, she looked it up, and here they have these. It's like a pouch, and you put your phone in there, and the top of it locks. Like a Ziploc bag. Well, kind of, but I it's a little different. It has it's like cloth. this. It's got this knob 
on both sides of What'd it. You it call looks me? like a just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks like a, it looks like a nipple on too. Both ends. I should have waited oh for that God. one. Damn it! <laughs> and then it locks, and you can't open it. You do. You keep this little pouch thing, and it's made out of like a. It's cloth, but it's like a fabric. It's yeah. a, but it's like padded it's on like the inside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I left my but phone. But you can't in the open it. You cannot open it. I, le- I left <laughs> I my phone that, in the car because I thought, whatever this is, one, I'm not carrying this thing around. On the pictures that she showed me, this thing looked like it was this big, huge thing. Uh-huh. Which it actually turned out that it was pretty Calm big. down. I know that's what you hear a lot. That's, no. what, that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> so, we, we totally were st- threw it off track. <laughs> we were still kind of confused walking in, like thinking, what the hell is this thing and what are they going to do? So, well, initially, though, first I was going to leave my phone in the car. That's oh, what I yeah. would have done. Well, yeah. we well had, but we, my ticket, the tickets were on my phone. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, so you would need to bring. She actually did leave her phone, and then, like, five steps away from the car, she's like, wait, I can't leave mine. I Good for you for mine. thinking it super close. I would have got to, like, the door. Right? I was like, well, it would I not be uncharacteristic her. of me to do that. That's what I said, though. I said, well, at least you remembered it before we got to the door and had to turn around <laughs> and walk back to the parking lot. That was a security line. Long mm-hmm. It was long, but it wasn't bad. It Wind Creek right, does a hard. really good job of yeah. moving it quick. So... You walk in, the first thing they do is they scan your tickets, right? Yeah. And then the next thing is they give you they give a, a wristband. Note. A wristband? What's a sticky note? Why would well, they? No- so they scan your tickets and then the girl writes it down on the sticky note and hands you the sticky note because you're because about to lock your phone yeah. in one of these things. So you need What's to know what your seats note? are. Yeah. The sticky note says what oh, your seats are. Oh, I'm following now. Because your phone is not so going to be locked up. Oh they, my God! What about those people that have that phobia where they can't, they have to have their phone? It's a I real hear thing. You so <laughs> then you get a wristband, and then you go up to the people that have these pouch things, and they give it to you. They lock it. They hand it back to you. You know, after you put all your stuff in. And smart watches too. To I was just say, what do you mean all your stuff? <clears throat> because you can't have a phone, you can't have a smart watch, and there was a third thing, but I don't. What is the reasoning? The so that people can't steal the material. You can't take pictures. Yeah. yeah so uh, they don't want pictures or videos. Why, in case it's offensive? No, it's just, it's just what because they do. I mean, some of the things he said were pretty offensive. <laughs> that's awesome, though. That's, that, that's what makes the best comedy. Yeah. Comedy. Why can't I talk? So comedy. We get after she locks all her stuff in. We go in. We get drinks. We get our seats. You have to hand the people your little ticket. They show you where your seat is. <laughs> your little and sticky note. Honestly, other than there, there was one comedian that he was funny, and the, there were three ah, different yeah. comedians. One of them, which he was the, the guy one. that opened up, right? He was right after, or you know, right before Kevin Hart. He was funny in the beginning, but then it, it kind of tapered off, and I was like, "Yeah, let's get the show it. over with." Yeah. I was starting to fall asleep. <laughs> oh no! Kevin Hart was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, like, piss your pants. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, he was so. <laughs> And so then you leave there and you have to they push everybody down the same hallway going through like the hotel and mm-hmm. they have people oh, yeah. lined against the wall with this little thing you walk up to them and all they do is touch those little balls on the bag and they touched your open. balls <laughs> they touched the balls on the bag oh on the bag <laughs> Well, well, I mean, <laughs> my wife's cell phone. <laughs> that was good, babe. Wow. Good for you. And then yeah. I convinced Rick to go up to the casino, which he absolutely hates doing. Yeah, and we've literally not been in, in the casino, casino in probably mm, three years. Oh, that's going to change. And <laughs> we went upstairs. He hands me a $20 bill. I almost immediately won $160. Awesome. Wow. What machine was it? A quick hit? It was a quick hit. I don't hit. know. I, we went over uh, to the smoking we section. Yeah. 
Because Red and white the smoking dragons section the smoking always section seems to be good. better. Yeah. So and, there's, yeah. There's and I certain, just yeah. wandered until I found something that I thought looked interesting. Yeah? Yeah. And so I then it. I gave her... Good for you. I, she cashed out of that machine, and I took that ticket and gave her another $20, and we went to a different one. And then I, she hit more money, and... Oh yeah! At the end, when I left, <laughs> this is exciting. I left with over two hundred. I gave bucks. her, yes. I gave her forty. I left with two hundred and ten. You know, wow. some uh, one of my employees messaged me last night too to tell me that he took his significant other to the casino too, and they left with money. Mm. So it, they're paying out right now. August 9th, here I come. Well, they're paying out, but you have to know when to say I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Do you? Yes, you do. Well, you don't. (laughs) Well, I hit... I hit... But see, here's the thing. If I wasn't there to regulate, you would have went through all of that. That's not true. Yes, it is. No. Well, that's how they get you. You didn't even... You were standing next to the machine, blabbing, while me and the guy that was playing next to me kept looking at each other like, when is he going to realize that I just hit a jackpot? Like... (laughs) See, that's the thing with me. I have a phobia of losing all of that money. So I can't do it. Say, I have to I'm like done. just cash out. If I even win seventy five bucks, I'm cashing out. Yeah. Well, yeah, you do have to read your intuition. I mean, it took a long, long time for me to find my intuition in a place like that. But well, I've got a pretty good intuition because I don't want to be there. So <laughs> the so second however, I hear, like the second, we work too hard for this. Yeah, the second however, I hear dinging, I think. Oh, I'm done. That could be it right there. there but that's the alarm. <laughs> the good thing about us going up to the casino after the show. Is the food court? No, 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 no. Was that we both awesome. got a drink. I hit that money. And then until we got out to the parking lot, Traffic everybody gone. was gone. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, everybody that's was. it. That is true. 100%. And the food court is amazing. We didn't hit yeah, I wouldn't know. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they have these really, really big bowls of this awesome soup there. I can't ever finish it. It has like half a chicken in it. Half a rice I mean, noodles. I, we, we've oh, never eaten hungry. any food there. It kind of reminds me. Not at me the of, food court we haven't. At the restaurants. The restaurants are, yeah, well, the are restaurants awesome. Are, yeah. Don't get me wrong. No, I'm talking about the, restaurants, the food court. But, we've never eaten any food there because it reminds me of like. Like the, the mall, mall food court? The mall. <laughs> <laughs> it's now, it's so. I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but the food is so, so good. Like the chicken tenders that Joey got before the concert. I would. I would never know this except for we go before concerts sometimes. And Joey got chicken tenders. You can tell they're hand breaded and battered there. Sure. It's right. so good. I can't speak for the Italian place there. I haven't tried that place. Now I will the service is iffy, but the food is great. Right. Now I also do like the high end restaurants there too. Yeah. We've eaten at a couple of restaurants here. They're good. Emeralds burger place is really, uh, really yes. good. Emeralds once, I think. So, so good. good. I've eaten there a couple times. And after the check came, I thought... Mm. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking yeah. it too far. The other benefit of eating in the food court is the comps. So you can use your comps. Oh, yes. The that's, yeah, my mom gets her all her... And you mentioned the drinking. Her. You can get Trulies like this. Truly, come on, man. Anyway, you can get Trulies every 30 minutes. Oh... Not that I have a time like that. I haven't we been don't to stay long enough while. to find any of that. <laughs> I mean, that Me fir- the first machine she hit at, I think that was about five minutes. It was, maybe? yeah, it's got, Two it minutes? had to, yeah, and it, it hit right away and it just kept going and going yeah. and going. And I'm like, oh like my a, God! It was like a hundred That's and awesome. Dollars. It must have been a quick hit. And then she <laughs> sat there and she's like, what do I do? And I was like, ash <laughs> out. <laughs> Move to the next one. That's him. <laughs> And the first thing I said to you was, was, wait, when is it going to (laughs) stop? No, you don't ask that question. (laughs) You want it to keep going. No, I know, but it just kept going and going. I was just shocked. They used to have Wizard of Oz machines there that were fantastic. I loved them. And they had a little sticker on the bottom right-hand corner. It said something about them being gone in February. And we went in February, and they were still there. So my mom and I were playing them, and we were actually hitting pretty decently. So when I went again, they were gone. They're, gone. They're replaced. With they do. Else. They do change out the machines. They used to have uh, kiss machines there too. Pinball. Or a, I've never once seen a kiss machine. I don't, I don't remember that. Yeah. They had kiss machines there. So I do have six machines that I'll hit, and I'll see if they're hitting. But I will see, tell you. See the fact you, that you know which machines they mm-hmm. are. 
Well, everything in life is a strategy. <laughs> That's too much. Everything. <laughs> All right, this is weird. Sorry. I couldn't tell you one machine that they have there. I don't even know the ones that she played. No, me either. You go to Can I just white dragons in the smoking section I on like the left-hand side. Money. That looks good. The only reason we know what's in the smoking section is because after you she hit, I was like, we got to get out of here because I can't take it. Well, <laughs> I no, do not like to sit in the smoking <laughs> section because you do smell like it then yeah. afterwards. Yeah, no, but There's the last time we were there, like literally three years ago, I hit yeah. there as well. Yeah. yeah. The smoking so, section it's seems something to be there. a good place to hit. Not huge, but at least something. And I was walking around for the longest time, and he's like, "When are you gonna pick a machine? When you find one." And that I speaks said, to "When you. I find one that I think looks interesting." Yeah, it and I did. To you, if you were open to that, maybe you would hear it. <laughs> maybe you could walk out with some more money too. Absolutely not. I'm good. Not with the mentality of that. Manifestation is real, sir. Because I'll just keep the money that I make. I don't need to put it into a <laughs> casino and slot machines and whatever other goofy shit they have going on over I there. I can't imagine what kind of goofy shit you put your... Alright, so <laughs> listen, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm just kidding. I need money I love the for tears, the casino. What? <laughs> I just said, said my birthday's, birthday's coming, coming up, up and I need <gasps> money for the casino. So we have casino. two birthdays coming up? We've you got do. this Girl, one and this one. I'm going to be the big five zero in literally ten Flippin' days. Well, you sure as fuck don't look it. You can say uh, the F. Well, word, thank you, but You're I'm welcome. not looking forward to the big five zero. Um, GS does not look fifty. No, definitely not. Not even a little. I have yeah. no problem. Many, many, many people have told me that she hasn't aged a day. Um, <laughs> I'm married to one of those two. Isn't she... it fucking annoying? I mean, I have my dad's genetics. Same. My dad was the same way. The two of you is fountain of youth over there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they're the ones behind the camera. How does that make sense? How are our ugly mugs <laughs> on the camera? Yeah, this looks 50. Oh, stop it. You do not. <laughs> yes, I do. Look at my hair. It's all gray and shit. Okay. My skin's starting to wrinkle. Wrink- so is mine, bro. No, it's Did not. She bro you? <laughs> she brought bra. me. And your bra. skin is not wrinkled. The next time you <laughs> see me in a tank top, you'll see the bra. wrinkles on my no, chest. No, no way. Absolutely. absolutely. No. 1,000%. No. You know what that means? It's not true. Chest tattoo. <laughs> no. They don't hide wrinkles. Oh, God, wrinkles. no. My God, no. I couldn't handle that. I'll take a tattoo on my arm that I've been wanting does that forever. Change? Does that change? hide the wrinkles? I don't know. There's I'm no still hoping that it could give me shadow, like shadow effect for cleavage and make me look like I have something that I don't. Like, I wouldn't have to get a boob job. <laughs> Chest tattoo. It doesn't no. actually hide anything. No. Nope. There's only one more tattoo that I want and it's on my arm. What is it? Um, Lily's. Ooh. Um, actually, color? Jesse's girlfriend. Stargazer Lily. Oh, we've talked yeah. about this, but what color did you yeah. decide? Um, you decide I think they're, they're purple they're and blue. Yeah, they're three different Ooh. colors. What are the color significance? No, no, no significance. It's just the colors that I like. Purple is a great color. Well, I love purple. Is my favorite color. Mine too. And blue is my second favorite. That's his favorite color. And, well, actually, hold on. Let me go back. Purple is my first favorite. Coral is my second, and blue Ooh. is my third. I do like coral. Although it does remind me of 70s, 80s furniture for some reason. I don't know why. So I have, like... So I don't know why. You have, my, you have my cup here. It's coral and purple. I mean, doesn't it kind of look like the color... It definitely looks like it could have come from the 70s. Just, I mean, if you isolate that cor- coral color. Yeah. Like a 70s vase. I don't, I don't, that totally, but I like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. doesn't resonate with me at all, that 70s I am thing. very weird. Don't go by me. The 70s <laughs> had some strange colors. They had some really... Do you know, as That's we are like, house hunting, we can't find what we want because what we really want is a 70s rancher that has a sunken in living room yeah, with like a fireplace. Like that. you're walking into Elvis's house. A sunken in living you room. You know, do you remember the glass walls? So we found a couple ranchers that have like those the glass big squares, you know what I'm talking about? Where it was like with the big Coke table in the middle. Dude, well, no, no. See, why do you have to take it too far? Well, that's what every 70s living room had back in we the day. We don't want that, though. We want it modernized. Did you ever see this, this show, uh, the movie Boogie Nights? That was an opportunity for you to make a joke, and you missed it. What's really funny is that if you go Boogie to my Nights older comic. sister's house, they have a garage. 
and there's shag carpets. I think there's no. I don't want that from the seventies. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want shag. that. I spent lots I of money to rip that up. I think there's four windows in the garage, and it's made out of those square glass. That's so awesome. Oh, no, you yeah, know what I'm right. talking about. <laughs> well, I know. Of course, I know what you're talking Dude, about. I, how do you? Those are so cool. Could you imagine if they would have put lights in them? They used to make like half walls. In yeah, houses. are they curved? Did you see that? <laughs> I grew up in the wrong era. Oh my gosh, you were it's too funny. Think about that. With that, some that big, freaking beautiful oh, green oh. plants around. No, absolutely. <laughs> like a, one of those half circle sofas in the sunken and living room. <laughs> sunken and living room. And wow. Isaac Hayes Great. playing in the background. Big screen TV? No. <laughs> See, again, taking it too far. Modernize it. Big screen TV above the fireplace. Oh my God. Breakfast counter behind it. I see. Hell yeah. I mean... And they say if you want to buy a house that you should buy something that was built like in the 1970s or a little bit later because the wood was older. Yeah, but it's, it's got to have central free. air. I, I'm fully aware of your needs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need a walk-in closet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. I mean... And a bunker. Yeah, our, our house hunting is... I We paused. Mm. It's disgusting right now. Um, well, we're very we've, specific with what we want. We haven't found anything. And we don't... We we're not in a hurry to move. Specific. Yeah, that's where we are. So... We're hoping in September... <laughs> given you know situations that interest rates will drop and my thing is there's going to have to be a bust at some point oh, I don't understand I, I can't we make pretty great not great but we make good money wow that sounds like a potential president conversation right there yeah. not good money but great yeah, money <laughs> but, <laughs> but we make pretty decent money we've done a really good job saving very decent I don't very very decent alright you know but even the hand gestures, you got it down. Can you go like this with your hand? Do you know? Do you know why he does this? Why? There's a lot of people that say that when you do this with your hand, it has something to do with your focus, your mental focus. So like a lot of people who meditate and things like that. Oh, absolutely. I don't think Trump meditates. And then you do the the finger touching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it it focuses your control. Yeah. Or it controls your focus. Or like the tapping then thing too. But yes. I forgot we got totally off topic. Wait, welcome to my brain. Is that why some people drive around tapping their heads? Because I've been seeing that. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it is. I was, yeah. it's called Definitely EFT. taught that to help with anxiety. There must be a lot of people driving with anxiety because I saw it like three Dude, times. have you driven around town lately? <laughs> I almost had three different old people pull out and hit me. I am a firm believer that after 65, age 65, every five years, go have to retest for your driver's license. Agreed. Well, there, there's statistics, agree though. The older that. they get, the more dangerous. And the more fatalities happen with older people. Listen, um, it was it was really bad the other day. I'm trying to tell Joey, like, as we're, as we're driving. Don't roll your eyes at me. I'm sorry. It was an accident. But as we're driving, I'm trying to tell her different road signs and, like, quiz her to see if she's ready to go get her permit. And... Dude, these fucking old people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the tapping thing is called Love emotional it. freedom technique, oh. and it's it's I a they it's were like yeah. Aliens there's or something. no, no. Okay. there's science behind it. Let her speak. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, yeah. No, it, it helps control too. your vase. She's looking for Can't the word. remember the words. Yeah. She's looking for it. I'm, I'm gonna there. drive around just. Knocking myself. In the <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It like helps that. to control it's your nervous system. When, so when I was <laughs> taught about it, they they said, "What is oh, it? It's vasal here, vagal system." Here, here, mm-hmm. here, here, and there's somewhere else. I think here. Yeah. So head. Yeah. Shoulders, temples, knees, and toes. That's what I remember thinking. <laughs> head, temples. The temples were one like pressure points. Yeah. Chest. Yeah. Um, and underarms. The and underarms. Belly. Another one. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm too ticklish. I'd be, I'd be <laughs> driving around. <laughs> Tickling <laughs> yourself? <laughs> actually, that's not true because you can't actually tickle yourself. So. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Not do belly. Know Chest. Do you know, do you know I that really you have know? this urge to try. I'm what? Head. Do you know that you, you can't tickle yourself? It's not possible. Go ahead and try. 
Anywhere that you're ticklish. <laughs> I'm not doing that right Like, now. my knees are really ticklish, and I can't. So are my mom's. Like, you can't even touch her knees without her freaking out. You can't tickle yourself. Oh, it's yeah, Rick's knees are impossible. so ticklish. Really? I wonder it's why that is. Mom, just lean over and grab his... You can't, no, I'm not going to do that. Right above the kneecap. It's impossible to Did you see yourself. that grab? It was like a claw like machine. <laughs> because she's very aggressive, and when she does it, she actually hurts me. Like... <laughs> Here. Well, maybe she's into that. She <laughs> could be. Here's the other thing. My Sometimes neck. You just gotta play along. My neck is what? like the most ticklish the spot down. of my entire body. Wait, my I neck. didn't hear you. What? My neck is the most ticklish spot. I don't know. I so, heard your knees were pretty bad. No, my neck's worse. So, at some point in my son's life he figured this out so (laughs) what he does is he likes to antagonize me by like poking my neck and he'll like do this thing where he'll do this thing like like right across he'll like push his fingers into my neck (laughs) and when he does it it drives me crazy because it does tickle my wife tries to do it and it pisses him off and because she's hurting me she's like (laughs) chopping my atoms up yeah like pushing on my carotid artery. Like pushing on your carotid. carotid. You're a bit She's like dramatic. a lunatic. She's a crazy person. <laughs> but when Jesse does it, it is so funny. Because and he, Jesse does it when he's driving. Yeah, he that is the driving. best. He'll take his hand. He'll lean forward yeah. from the back seat and he'll go. Yeah. While I'm driving, he'll take his hand and he'll like push it into my neck. That kid would not have a hand if he did that. <laughs> and you can't, you can't buckle him when you he's driving. You come with two, leave with I'm one. I'm lucky if I get to touch the radio when he's driving. <laughs> you come with two, you leave with <laughs> one. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. That was like when you drove my car down to Philly, yeah. and I learned that you can control the temperature and the passengers. Yeah. I don't uh, fuck with things when other people drive my so car. So we're yeah, we're driving <laughs> her car. And I it, again, changed my car. I drive it. Two things. Driving One, I size. changed the temperature thing, and she's like, "Don't touch anything." And I said, "Well, you have Fuck your own temperature. So you can ch- change it on your side." And then she's like, "Oh my god, I can change mine on my side." <laughs> before then, he's leaving a big part of the story out. Before the no, temperature thing, he's touching yeah, all sorts of and, shit. Yes, yes. What is this doing? What is this no, doing? I, Okay, not, he may once, not, have said it, not once did I ever ask you what it is. <laughs> no, it's right. no you, you said it. that you touched things and she freaked out about yeah, it. Yeah, because then... Oh, after you talked the, about it when you got home? Oh, of course we did. I had to tell my wife <laughs> what I really did before. After the temperature thing, we get on the highway. I did freak out. And I turned on the cruise control. My and anxiety was really high. she was beside herself. Why? Because we don't What is that cruise? green thing that's on the screen? I've never seen that before. I said, it's a that's your control. cruise control. <laughs> it lets you know it's on. No, we, we don't It do turns off once you hit the brake. We don't trust the cruise control. What Why? happens if it doesn't turn off by oh, itself? God. <laughs> if it doesn't turn Have off? Have you not seen I've like, never ever... No, no, the brakes are not controlled by the Have cruise control. Have you ever been control. a car in a car when the brakes randomly go out? It has nothing okay, to do with the nothing. cruise control. It doesn't matter. It could happen. I've no, never. Can't happen. You don't know that. <laughs> yes, you, I do. I will find you a story in okay. history no. where the cruise control didn't go off. Yeah, okay. no. I have never ever. Well, then when you do that, look up a Tesla. Because that's heard, where it came from. No, I've never you see how heard ugly of they any are, the new vehicle. Ones? Oh God. That the cruise control has failed. Yeah. <laughs> if the contru- if the cruise control fails. It pretty much just turns off and your car slows down. Again, do I want to be in that scenario? That's exactly what happens. And then you hit the gas and then it speeds up again. So some things that the audience should know, the whole two people that listen. (laughs) 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 I'm riddled with anxiety whether I'm driving or somebody else is driving. I don't know why. I'm going to go with, I've definitely tried to analyze this. And the All only I thing I can is... think of is watching my sister get her face stitched back together after she wrecked her car. Oh, God. But that, I mean, I wasn't this bad for years after, until years afterwards. You, did you have kids? It yep. was when I had Joey. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, all I did was turn the cruise control on. Now, she did, she was... She did ask questions about it and asked me, like, how you use it after she freaked out about the little green light that was on. <laughs> However, when I was done explaining to her how to use the c- cruise control, it's she then said, 
Yeah. She then said, yeah, I'm never going to remember that. Do you remember? So my exact words were, then why do you ask? And that's, there might be a time that I might remember. Just because no. I don't remember now doesn't mean that in an, emer- an emergency situation, at <laughs> some point in my life, I'll tap into that file. I seriously doubt that. You never You know will that. never, ever remember how to use the con- cruise control in your car. I don't think you've, you have it on yours. I'm sure you do. You just probably never Oh, it's just, there. It's what he just talked yeah. about. How oh, you drove there. my car and used the cruise oh, control. Where were you? Car. Welcome, welcome no, back, no, my love. No, no, this was her car. Oh, nice. That's when we went down to Philly. Okay. And it, Definitely. again, it was not just us in the car. We had our boss in oh, the back. Yeah. It was in the back. <laughs> Why did you just say his name? That's yeah, right. You're going to have to edit that out. No, so, you're have to edit it out. Um, I was talking about Tesla. Have y'all in person, actually in person, seen the, the Tesla truck? Is that the big boxy looking thing? Yes. The silver truck, thing? No. Is that a truck? It's, it's considered a truck. Get the fuck out of here. No. It is so ugly. It's so oh, I have seen a couple of It is so ugly. We yeah. saw two. There's two in town right now. I've yeah. seen two yeah. of them too. There's a silver one it's in, the only silver one in town saw. and there's a black one. Is the black it's one ugly? It's considered the truck. How is that a truck? So there's no bed. It doesn't it's even not, make any sense. I don't understand. It's so ugly. I've seen two of them. As a matter of fact, the black one I think was just today. Really? I haven't I seen the black one yet. I've only seen the gray one. I saw is the gray it, one like maybe if three it was weeks black, ago. it was it, it would like be a little grand grand Oh no, the, the black one is just as hideous. Cyber truck, you're fuck fuck. Yeah. Damn. Cyber truck. Come on. Now the black one's a little less hideous than the gray, but it's also fifty thousand dollars more than the gray. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, what? That is literally the worst looking vehicle that I've ever seen in my life. It is ugly. It is like I mean, if you think back, that is literally what you saw like years back. Like in the future. Like this is what our vehicles are gonna look like. Isn't that creepy? It is creepy. They look like a box. Yeah. Square. It's like a robot. <laughs> Do you remember so the movie Idiocracy? Like, we was... don't. We don't watch the same. Idiocracy. Movie, Obviously not. It came out in 2006. <laughs> no, I have no clue so. about that. Like, it was it, it was a comedy. Oh, what the guy? What's that guy's name? Anyway, it makes me think about that. Where how in the future we're supposed to be so advanced and we have all these cool future things, oh, but they're that. stupid. That's where the, they they drink Gatorade. All the time. Yeah, they. Yeah, so do you know that, that when they were making that movie, right? They were trying to think of a wardrobe and they had very limited money for the wardrobe. <laughs> so the the fashion people went out and they were like, let's find the most ugliest shoes like that would be future for them to wear. Uh-huh. And it was before Crocs were big. And oh, they shit. found they chose Crocs, and they're like, "What happens if these shoes release and they end up being like really popular? They're like they're so ugly, nobody. That's not gonna happen." And it did. That's what I feel like this car is. Wow, should be there in that movie. I really don't think this car is gonna. There's no way more, more people start driving. You really never seen like the that. movie Idiocracy? I think you would like it. It makes fun of a lot of things, and you make fun of a lot of things. I make fun of nothing. Um, okay. <laughs> what did I make fun of? Thank you for saying what my face said. <laughs> what do I make fun of? Everything. I mean, Tell me what your thoughts would, are on grunge music. Okay, I only make fun of goofy things. And Which in your what perception in you, is everything. Exactly. Your perception. And, and I don't make fun of all grunge music. I mean, okay, so... Good. I asked Tell me Kevin about ICP. while you two were upstairs what these two were going to... What? Wait, Don't... hold on. Do we... what? Because what? she just brought up Insane Clown, Clown Posse. And I got to be honest with you, there is a documentary about Insane Clown Posse, and I watched the whole thing. Now, I'm not into their music. However, the documentary was really good, and afterwards, I felt really bad for these two dudes. No! Yeah. They're because idiots. They've... No. Really? They're, no, they're not. They Ooh, had offensive. gotten. Did a, you see that? He definitely likes this documentary. They've mm-hmm. gotten a really bad rap for, for painting their face like that. Well, not the <laughs> Facebook thing, but they've been accused of things like that they didn't do, or didn't intend to do, or try to do. That's every musician. Ever. You should watch the documentary. You'd have a different uh, view. I don't necessarily dislike ICP. I don't know. I mean, their music, I, Definitely, I, that's not something I would ever listen to. But. I bumped What is a Juggalo for a hot second. 
So that was the other thing. Like their fans have been accused of being a cult, and some of them have been arrested for things that they never did. And Are they like the Proud Boys? Mm. I don't know what that means. The Proud mm. Boys? They're like a cult too. They're like a, uh, a elaborate. Group of yeah. The Proud Boys? Elaborate. Um, well, Please. they're like a right wing kind of uh, cult. Yeah. Like they, they go around preaching right wing type of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Through music? No. So, no. No, I have nothing to do with music. Oh. It's, it's more political. Why are they called Proud Boys? So, I don't know. Because they're proud because, of their Republican oh, belief. Oh, and they're proud of their heritage, if you get what I mean. So there's. Never mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you should really try and find the Insane Clown Posse. Uh, what did you watch in them? service. I mean, it had to have been either. It was either Netflix or Amazon Prime. I don't know which one it was. I'll see if I can find it and I'll let you know. Oh, I might watch. But it it was actually really good, and I I don't even know why I watched it because, like, I've never been an insane clown posse fan. Mm-hmm. I think their music. Honestly, it's goofy. But well, but you also love watching documentaries. Like, I was yeah. just because, and it's music related. I saw right? it, and so. there was like a, it, you know, it shows it you like the related preview too. thing, and they were talking uh, about. How is it sports related? You just over talked him, which is rude. Sorry. So we'll no, come back to you. <laughs> but I am curious. To... They they were also in the WWE. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus! Oh, yeah, yeah, they were in the WWE. Yeah, that's in the documentary. Yeah. Is it? I might have to watch it. You should definitely find it and watch it because they interview some of their fans, some of the people that are like part of their cult. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not a cult. I understand why you have a soft spot for them. They, yeah. The face paint is when, familiar for you. And, and when you hear them talk, like you honestly sit there and be like, "Wow, they're just." They're literally just. Married. But I've seen them they do even, interviews where when they talk, I feel bad no, because this they was sound uneducated. Because, no, this was different because they were their makeup just list stripped and down, and they even interviewed raw. their parents. Like their moms were on hmm. this documentary, and it was pretty good. I'll watch it. It'll be homework for me. It was good. You should find that. Not and tonight, though. Prior to the insane clown posse, I forgot what we were talking I'm about. I'm sorry. I threw that comment out there not expecting for you to have that. Th- but see, hey, it worked. Right? Can you hear me now? Is it- you keep moving away from the mic. You don't it's really have to ridiculous. look at him. You can look at the, the uh, yeah, just look at Well, I feel I like mean, it's when he's rude talking, when you, you don't look, look at... Well, you have no, to look no, at people when you're talking. It's different when you're on camera. <laughs> yeah, talk it's to the not, camera. It's not rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not rude. You don't have to look at I've been thinking this the whole time. Well, then why don't you say something? I don't interrupt you. See, Why not? Right you interrupt there, everybody else. Right there, don't move your don't move wow. your head. Whoa! Listen, right, right your there, don't no, don't move your head. Keep you it. You know who's gonna find you? Straight. Some old man fishing. We're gonna have to set Grandma up wires. Name that like... song. You should know it by now. I've sang it at least fifty times at work. I didn't hear what you said. DMX. So before you started talking about the insane collab, what yes. were we talking about? I was going to say that you know these two are going to a reggae fest tomorrow. And I was <gasps> telling him. Is that what we were talking well, about? Oh, no. How do you know this? This is amazing. Well, no, I was what? talking to him while you guys reader. were upstairs. Oh. And right. I said, oh my God, I would love that. But Rick would absolutely hate it. So come with us. But time out. Did you just say you don't know this? Wait. I've only been bitching to you for a week about it because <laughs> no, the no, fan that I want to see is hating the stage at 845. Not, okay. And I was giving a, you cannot miss that's tomorrow. That's what I said. I said... How does she know about that? Who is she? <laughs> My Me. wife. Use her name. It bothers me. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize how GS knew about it. Yeah, yes, I I'm was well aware. To KS about it. Laura is leaving the reggae festival early to come. Well, you to said something. Some party. You didn't say the reggae fest. You said some party. Do you want to come with us? We're going You're for right. 12 I to 2. I mean, we're going to grab party. some food, listen to some music. The girls are going to be with us. You're more than welcome to leave his ass home. I, I will definitely I have to go consider set up that. For the second party Good. So to. even better. Is it come in with us. downtown? It's at Steel Stacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there should be different food trucks. There's going to be a couple different musicians. Man. Like, I don't yeah, necessarily know any of the beginning lineup. Long Beach Dub All Stars, which we've talked about on the show quite a lot. 
we'll be playing at 8:45, um, so we'll miss that. Mm-hmm. Which is okay, but the I only... figure we'd probably leave by like two, two thirty. The only oh, okay. issue with GS going is we haven't made the Jello shots yet. Well, I'll make those in the morning. Who did you say was playing at 8:45? Long Beach Dub All Stars. I always make them in the morning because they need to chill for a couple hours. I don't know who that is. Well, now you can go to the reggae festival. Oh, we'll listen to them on the way home. (laughs) I've heard of them. Because I've talked to you about them. Wow. Sorry. I'm just saying, I don't know how my day is going to play out. I have to make the jello shots. I was telling her to go with you. And and I have to make a salad that I'm going to bring to the picnic. Should I be bringing something? I should no. bring something. No. Shit. No. What are we bringing? No. no, no well, you should we get liquor? Oh, my God. oh, God, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> there will There'll be plenty, plenty of that. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Should we buy a dessert from Wegmans and pretend I made it? Because that's usually what I do. If you really feel the need to bring something, you can bring whatever you want. I would not spend the time. You don't have to, like, cook anything. Oh, nobody wants spice. that. Okay, so... <laughs> Alcohol wise, Jimmy has. Are people okay with you just throwing their names around like this? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. One day he'll be on the show. We'll get him on you. I'll believe um, it when I see it. Jimmy has. I believe his dad would come more on. More alcohol. On. <gasps> He's a published writer. Wine <laughs> and. Like, I'm not even kidding. I like how he's not you. I know. This is, he does this shit all the time. It's infuriating. Jimmy has more wine and hard liquor than anybody, anybody that we know. Yeah, if he opened up your his liquor cabinet, you'd be like, oh my God. So this it's... again, to me, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, end of the world situation. Oh, it's Jimmy's house you want to go to. Absolutely. Sounds like he's got liquor because and guns. Because he's got the ammo, the guns, and all of the alcohol. The the wine, anything you could possibly think it's, of. The, yeah, the liquor good. cabinet is so bad that the shelves are bumping. <laughs> like there's like a bow on the shelf because it's, there's so much weight on the shelf that it's bowing. You go down That's to the basement and you'll find endless amounts of w- bottles of wine. He yeah. needs a wine cellar. He probably has, if I had to guess, there's probably, I mean, there's got to be a hundred bottles of wine. Space At least. No. He does kidding? have a very fierce Dalmatian that protects all of this, so don't get any ideas. The Dalmatian's fierce. It will love me. Tomorrow we will make progress. <laughs> He's not that fierce. We will he will love me. <laughs> Didn't he like you the last time? <laughs> we made a little bit of progress. Oh, actually, you know what? He doesn't always like women. I I hate mm, But me. there was one That's male right. he really didn't like too. Was it was a Kevin? So. No. Oh, because dogs don't no, seem to like him. Cool. <laughs> Except my dog. Your no. Walter loves you. It's not, it's not fair. That like. It's not fair. Okay. Yeah. I'm coming with dog treats in my pockets. He's gonna love me. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? I'll tell you what. If if you want that dog to love you, I do so badly. Bring Tic Tacs with you. What? <laughs> it's like so true. Ones? He will chew. Dang, he will chew Something on a fell. single tic tac. <laughs> not only fell, it like got thrown across I the didn't room. Touch it. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. It just, it, I Is think your it, house haunted? No, it probably was the cord. Are they fruit flavored or regular? And what color are they? The tic tacs. I need. But he will um, literally chew a single tic tac. He is obsessed. I think the, the fruit flavor. I, the I think orange? it's the fruit flavor. No, no, it's not orange. It's like a, it's like a multi pack thing. Yeah, the red and yellow. Like the red, green, yellow. Yeah. yeah. This dog is obsessed with Tic Tacs. He will do anything and for them. And dogs if have Tic Tacs. I guess they can. Yeah. We should give Walter a Tic Tac and see what happens. But they, I mean, they, they don't give him. They don't feed him to him all the time. This is. It's a pretty rare. Like thing. a special. So if I shake the. But he'll know when, it. Oh God. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Jimmy so will excited. get. Jimmy has like. That's a very big, very loud noise. Sorry. Jimmy has like the big thing of Tic Tacs, and he'll pull it out of their pantry and just kind of shake it a little, and this dog will come and just sit. And stare at him. And he takes one tic tac, just one, and gives it to the dog. <laughs> and the dog sits there and chews on the tic tac like a single tic tac. <laughs> and he will chew, he won't swallow it whole. He chews oh, it. Like he's eating, eating a steak. Oh, God, I yeah. love <laughs> him. <laughs> oh. Loves tic tac. He's very cute. Yep. So tomorrow so you'll you find me make hanging out with him. him. Bring a thing of tic tac. And you can get the small one and just. Shake it and he'll pretend I didn't it. know. Oops. 
He'll be your best friend. Like, oh my god, I'll be your best friend. I was forever. like that in high school too. People would have parties. Most I'd be like, oh, you have a dog? I want to hang out with your dog. Well, you the, the key to Jimmy's dog's heart is Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. One thousand percent. And you're Excited. shaking your finger at me. Yeah, you? it's time to wrap it up, bro. All right. Dude, that's the second time she brought mm. you. Bro. <gasps> it's ridiculous. Can I it? tell you something? In the world, apparently. <laughs> I recently felt old, like really old. For, yeah. Like really, really old for the first know. time. I've because, had this moment. No, no, no. Because <laughs> I was scrolling through Instagram and there was a girl with her father and they were doing slang. Like she would say her slang and then... Like... Like he would say a word, and then she would like say the psych. slang word of what it would oh, mean, like awesome. Wow, and then yeah? she would say, "Oh, oh." And I recently learned that my nephews, man, I totally judged them wrong. They were just talking in their normal speech, apparently, and I thought they were just being dicks. But no, that that's their yeah. slang. Their slang. And what are these slang words? Riz. Riz is one of them. You know, what Riz means like, oh, you got Riz. You got yeah, lots of Riz. What does that mean? romance like you you can you got swag oh lord right some of them i can't even remember (laughs) right but i sent (laughs) i sent the clip to my daughter i'm like what the fuck is this why don't you just talk normal do you think that's how our parents felt um we i actually have sent jesse texts and be like dude what the hell and i don't remember what the last one was but he actually knew what it was yeah we There's kept a whole other language. We kept seeing it on lo- or on TV or on like on the news. They kept talking about. Oh yeah, we've done that several times, yeah. and he's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "What?" But what was the last one? I don't because remember. The last one when I asked him about it, he was like, "Well, that's kind of old. Nobody really uses that that phone's terminology dark for a while. anymore." No, the phone's fine. It's, oh. in the, it's reversed. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what the last one. But Jesse and his girlfriend Snow, they seem to keep up with the. Uh, because it's, with they're Snow. young, they're kind of like at the elder. They're well, like an elder millennial version of. At yeah. some point in time, they're gonna realize like, what? Wow, they're they're gonna do stupid. the same thing. Oh they're my gonna god! Be like, what the fuck does that mean? Dude, it's bad. It. I. I'm gonna have to send you the video. It was. I just watched it. And I thought. I've had a lot of those. Movies. Did I sound that dumb? Like. The well, the reason, that was wrong. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said dumb. Did, the did first, I sound that the unique? very first moment that I had that that ever happened in my life, and I was only, I think, 20. It was with the word rad, wasn't it? No, I used <laughs> the word rad when I was a teenager. Oh, sorry. The first time I ever had that moment of, like, feeling like I was old was the first time I ever heard Nirvana's Team Spirit. Why? Because I was DJing at the time, and all these kids kept coming up to us and like, "Oh, you gotta play Nirvana! You gotta play Nirvana!" And I was like, "The secret root cause of why he does not like Nirvana is it made him feel old for the first time." <laughs> and then the guy, okay. so we I just, was. We just self-discovered something with you. That's awesome. So when you can heal now. <laughs> when this happened, <laughs> so when this happened, I was. I wasn't the DJ at this party. It was the guy that I worked for. And oh. he apparently knew who Nirvana was because he then played it. And I literally stood there and was like, wow, this is music that I grew up on. This is the end right here. And I felt I felt like an old man. And I was only 20 years old. <laughs> and there's all these kids jumping around wearing flannel. <laughs> <laughs> Acting like, acting like lunatics. Oh, today. I so wish I had a flannel on today. This, uh, this sounds circa There's no reason for you to feel bad about that for that point in time in your your yeah. life for whom it was you were working for. So yeah, let's continue on. Either way, I well, appreciate the story because, <laughs> like I said, I think that your hatred for Nirvana isn't so much of the fact that it killed me- metal music for you, but it made you um, feel old for the I first don't time. really... That's a, I don't really have that hatred for that's not I just think they're I think that Kurt Cobain was way over rated rated overrated one thousand percent and I don't hate their music it's not like it comes yeah. on the radio and I think oh god this sucks I just think that he was really overrated I think I that think, 
I think their oh, drummer was a better guitar player than Kurt was. Oh, oh shit, yeah. really? Absolutely. Yeah, they were they weren't great musicians at all. No, no, and he is a he is a way better. I think he's a way better guitar player than he is a drummer too. And I'm um, not a drummer. He's a good drummer, but um, he, he, Kurt Cobain's not a great guitar player. Yeah. Oh God. No. Sometimes. Though you have to go through shit in order to get to where you need to be, right? Yeah, probably. So I don't. Story. I don't hate Nirvana because I think that they killed hair metal. Because at at that point in time in '92, believe me, if if you saw some of the hair metal that was out, music needed a good kick in the ass because <laughs> they were putting out shit like. The Nelson Brothers were yeah. on the top oh, of the charts. I like the Nelson Brothers. The rain, Are they the blonde dudes? Yeah. They were the blonde the dudes, house. right? Yeah. I mean, so you have to understand, I was like five when they when I got exposed to them. But the, I remember well, their that videos. Was the uh, shit that was out. That's in, Ricky Nelson's kids. Yeah. Isn't that? Yeah. You know who Ricky Nelson is? Did you ever see the old TV the, show? Not the Ricky the Nelson Ozzie that you think. Ozzy and Harriet. Yeah. Ozzy and Harriet. Uh, yeah, I yeah. don't know who you're talking about, Ricky Nelson. Who's the? The Ricky dude from Nevermind. So at that point in time, music Macarena. music needed a really big kick in the ass because they Ricky were Martin. signing all kinds of garbage bands like Nelson. <laughs> a bunch of the Firehouse. Thing. Are you laughing? What are you no, laughing at? No, because Firehouse I actually like. <laughs> yeah, but they were still in that, in that era. And they were in that era. That was you mean another band. What else? Slaughter. Oh. All right. Uh, Slaughter was towards the end of yep. the 90s. It was very like poppy hair metal. Do you know who I hated? And then the there, Bullet and Boys. Then, who and the then Bullet Boys? Oh, they were so bad. <laughs> I actually love the Bullet Boys. Oh. All their I've seen them in concert. <laughs> See, the Bullet Boys were actually. Well, awesome. so I don't know the Bullet Boys. Is that? Um, they only have. Well they only had one hit. Smooth it was called Smooth Up in Ya. <laughs> Wait, there what? It's yeah. called Smooth Up in Ya. Oh my god, that, that's, that's when fun. hair metal really started taking a dive. That was towards the end of the... <laughs> that was like really late 80s, yeah. early 90s. I'd rather yeah. listen to Midnight Oil than them. Because <laughs> that fucking bald fucker, was he like was creepy as fuck, but I like that song. That <laughs> I saw them. Beds are burning? No? That's a good political. Song. It's a political band. So at that point in time, music needed a good kick in the ass... I just wasn't too happy that it was Nirvana. I really don't think that they were that great of a band. And well, Metallica my was still kicking ass. Yeah, Metallica was still kicking ass. They were. Megadeth? My Not biggest so issue, much Megadeth, but Metallica. Yeah. Yeah. When did Megadeth get real big? Megadeth got big in the 80s, but they yeah. always Late followed 80s, Metallica's though? Kurt Tales. Mm-hmm. No, that was mid-80s. Metallica came, or Megadeth came out in, probably like 80s. Three-ish, they three, came out right four. after Metallica got big. Yeah, right after Metallica. Pantera? Which was, you're right, 83, 84. When was Pantera yeah. big? Pantera was hit? the 90s. Pantera was, Pantera was so later. So there you go, 90s wasn't only crunch. Like, you're right, there were some good Pantera metal Pantera was not, the, yeah, they were like as far metal as you could get. I mean, they, and every metal album they came ass. out with. Yeah, every, every album Pantera came out with was heavier than the last one, and for me, it got to the point where it was just noise. They were just screaming. <laughs> like, I it's hard to feel it. about music now. <laughs> like, the rap music now, mostly. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm excited to get home to my scrambled egg sandwich. I got my rant out about Nirvana. <laughs> scrambled egg sandwich. Like them. Tomato, mayo, mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Like, for the oh, record. Good. She's like putting in order. Yeah, it sounds delicious. I'm, I keep saying it so that he makes it when That's I go. It. Oh! She Look wants at you. her chef to make him over yeah. some food. So it's for his the birthday, record, I can't ask him. Before we go. <laughs> When's you your birthday? <laughs> his birthday's Sunday. Oh, happy birthday. You. When's your birthday? See? You should not have put that on there. But that's all right. Well, Why? he can edit out. We're right. We, we shouldn't have put birthday. Nobody knows that. Yes. Nobody knows who I am. No, it wouldn't be so hard to reverse cool. engineer. If we were, I'd probably I don't think we have enough at least viewers. Just beep the date out. That's all you have. To I do. agree with that. Okay. See, beep the date. And yours when I said the day. <laughs> so, a few days know, from now. That's when my birthday is. <laughs> a few days. <laughs> You'll never know. Twenty-fifth <laughs> birthday. Oh God, he definitely has. GS's birthday is coming up. Not she's, looking forward to it. She's going to be. Those willows. 
She's gonna be the big five up. Stop it! Why do you have to? Willow's gonna be six at the end of the month. You already said it. I didn't say how old I was going to be. We're gonna get a bouncy house. When I review I this episode, true. I'm specifically going to call you I down here. I whispered it. To Nobody hear. heard no, that. No, you didn't. You didn't whisper it. You said, I'm, I'm going to be 50. Yeah, I don't it's recall fucking stupid her too. sounding like that. It's stupid. Oh, you're, you're right. I did say that earlier stupid. in the episode. I know you did. You're right. I did. <laughs> I'm well aware of what you said. Yeah, that's dumb. I don't, don't want to be 50. Oh, you don't look it. It's not that bad. I'm 50-ish. Sorry. <laughs> You'll be all right, honey. Ah. All right. How old are you? All right. I don't Gia know. Said, Gia said all right. And then I'm going to be 32. I. All right. <laughs> Whoa, she said a height. <laughs> she got slang up in there. When, she's at, when you hear those sounds from her, that means... Grab it the fuck up. up buddy. No, please don't do that. <laughs> so this... Has been You're so mean. Nobody likes Porky Pig. Nobody ever liked Porky Pig. From people Lily like Jones. Porky Pig. So there are as bacon. Who like sizzle, Porky sizzle. Pig. sizzle, 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 sizzle. Wait, hold on. I need two seconds before we wrap it up. The Porky Pig thing. When I was a DJ, I used to use that. Oh yeah, as you my did. Ending, uh, <laughs> All the time. The I Proof that it's old. I actually love her. Porky He's fifty <laughs> Old. This has been I H E in the Kiss Room. I'm Laura. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Rick. <laughs> and I'm GS. Good night. Okay. What are we <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> That's all that matters. Good night. And we're.